And now, Ford proudly presents the most exciting Ford of a lifetime, the Starliner. We're at the 2021 uh, McCacken. Um, we're happy to have it here this year once again. After last year, we all missed it, obviously, because it, it, it didn't happen. So we're all thankful to be here once again. And uh, we're at the barn find section. So this year, I have this luxury of bringing a very, very special car that I'm very dear to because I know this car. I almost grew up with this car with my really dear friend. It's a 1960 Ford Starliner that's been in their family since day one. Uh, my father purchased this car new uh, in 1960, and uh, it's been in the family ever since. Uh, my mother and father got married in this vehicle. Um, Dad drove it all the way up until 1970 as the family car, and then it was parked. So this car happens to be a car that we just took out of his, his uh, garage for nearly 50 years. I know that in 69, um, I have two younger brothers, uh, and they came about and a 69 Country Squire Ford Wagon came into the picture. Um, so obviously the family grew. Uh, I, I never did find out if it was parked just because it wasn't big enough or if something was wrong with it. 50 years, you can see all the dust on it. I mean, it's just amazing how, how it survived. So I have no memories of ever being in the car, uh, nor of ever remembering it running. The memories I have of this car being put away, covered up, and cherished by my father. It was a vehicle that I wanted at a young age and, and, and never was able to have, but it was always there. His father passed away at a young age and Mike's mom said, hey, don't ever sell this car, ever. My mom passed away three years ago. Uh, one of the last things she had told me was never to get rid of the vehicle. She cherished this vehicle, um, as did my dad. And here it is. It's been with the family the whole time. My goal is to be able to drive this vehicle, um, and hopefully that'll happen very soon. What we want to do with it is preserve it. What we call, a, a, it's not a restoration, it's a preservation. So we want to take the engine, get it running, the transmission, the rear end, make it safe, make it drivable, do all the brakes, the brake lines. To try to bring life back to this motor that has sat for over 50 years. Um, to leave it as a survivor, more or less, not to do any of the body work, to leave it as it sits now and, and make it safe to drive and, and dependable. But we don't want to put any paint on the car. We want to do this the right way, in my eyes. It's got plenty of bumps and bruises on it, and, and, and that's, it's the history of the car, and we'd like to put a couple bumps and bruises on it ourselves. So that's, that's the plan. Get it driving so the family can enjoy it for the, the rest of their time. Uh, our father always told us it was a hypo version. Um, it was the, 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 the biggest motor you could get at that time. To our knowledge, he always said they were rare, and that's why he always kind of tucked it away. We're going to try to do the right thing, you know, and that's, that's, you know, everybody's got a different conception of that, what is the right thing. So we want to make it look kind of like it looks today. Preserve everything. No paint, clean scrub, you know, a lot of elbow grease, you know, just keep the patina. It's very important on a car like this, when you find a survivor like this, uh, that's what we're going to do. My understanding was a, it was a really fun, quick car, and family relatives that are still alive have stated to me numerous times that Dad knew how to drive this car. Driveline may come out, depends. We, we have some, we'll, we'll see what happens. We'll have to see what happens. The engine, we'll see, see if it's seized or not. We'll know in a, in a couple of weeks. There's only one seatbelt in the vehicle, and it's for the driver. And if you were a passenger, and my understanding is my father buckled up, you were in for a ride. Now, if the family at a later time wants to restore the whole car, that's up to them at a later time, because it's not going anywhere. The car's going to stay with the family. When this thing does come to life, uh, I'm sure it'll be emotional for me and my brothers um, just to, to be able to drive, to sit back in our parents' memory and, and go for a ride in it. It will be awesome. The vehicle's attached to us in many different ways. This one's 100% family. I, loved, I loved, loved the person, I loved the family, um, and this car is very near and dear to my heart. Dad always told us it just needed a battery. Upon my dad's passing, I was able to get to the car. It needs more than a battery. 